players take the knee ahead of kickoff. The message now more poignant than ever. The club stands in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement. I have to say, the pitch at Pride Park today doesn't look the best, but Bristol City get things underway, and it's an early header for Andre Wisdom. I was just about to say that's not looking in great condition compared to the pitch we're looking at now as well in the background. Absolutely. Uzviak back to Burn. Now Buchanan again crossing towards the back post, and it's Kazim Richards that arrives, and Derby County just inside four minutes break the deadlock at Pride Park. It's a shame, it's a shame. But it was a good ball in from Buchanan. Um, I know you're probably going to be asking questions, but it, you're going to be looking for where could we get tighter, uh, the ball in the box, pick up your men. I think here we got probably got to get a bit tighter to the, to the switch of play uh, and get out to the man quick, but I think we weren't expecting the ball to come in, but Kazim Richard was. Pinpoint cross, Wayne Rooney, no emotion shown on the touchline. And his side are a goal to the good here. Bristol City will have to come from behind. Pass forward is good into Bird. Derby County are on the attack again. Here's Yuzviak, almost squeezes it to Kazim Richards off the post. And away eventually by Zach Viner, but more worrying times for Bristol City. Yeah, it is. It, it, it's disappointing because I'm just looking at the, the pressure we've got um, on the ball. It's, I can hear it. It's Simo. I can hear his voice. I know it's him. He's saying, get up to the ball, get up to the ball. Um, and it started from wisdom, the attack. I just think we need to either block the lanes off a bit better or press, press, the, press the ball more with a bit more intensity and aggression. Good pass in behind Bristol City's midfield. Here's Buchanan again. Hunt tries to stop the cross. Eventually it trickles in, but it's gobbled up by Dan Bentley. Yeah, he did well there, honey. It's a good strike. Good strike. Unlucky from him, but fortunate for us it um, didn't go in. Bird back in the side today. Here comes Knight. He's got Shinny on the overlap. Kazim Richards just inside the six yard box, almost meets across. It's Yuzviak. And there he is again. Dan Bentley on hand. Brilliant save from Dan there. Dan Bentley, he's, um, he's been brilliant for us this season, hasn't he? Even the last game, the amount of saves, and I know Huddersfield will come into it then, but. Another great save. He probably took too long here. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, Joviak. Yuzviak. Yuzviak. Probably took a bit too long there. Um, pullback might have been on to one of the other players, but another great save from Ben Sealer. Viner into Semenyo, and that's good from the young striker. Now Naki Wells gets goal side initially from Wisdom. Shot gets away, but Wisdom with the block. Getting closer, aren't we? Getting closer. There's a great ball from Anton then as well. Sees the, sees the run of Naki Wells. And it's just maybe a little bit too short, but still manages to get half a yard. But it's a, it's a block from, uh, from Wisdom. Bristol City come again through. Semenyo gets a cross away straight at Marshall. This is good from Bristol City. Their best spell in this first half. See that cross come shot again from Semenyo. Yeah, it's close there. You can just see Famara just at the back post. That's probably what it could have been there with Antoine. Um, he's an exceptional there, but maybe it could have been that lit, little head up, see Fam at the back post and just pass it in towards him, but still brilliant from him. Mariapa inside to Palmer. Good vision to find Semenyo, bit of confusion, but Wells eventually finds Hunt. Chance here for Bristol City in towards Jeju, a whisker away from his head there. Yeah, it's a great ball from Jack Hunt there, wasn't it? Really good ball. Just hoping we were getting out there. You could see the ball when it came to Naki and from where Casey played it to him. You just want us to get in those areas and 
if you want it to fall to anyone, you want it to be to, to Fam, especially at the moment, the form he's on. In from Shinny, difficult one for Dan Bentley, who gets a really awkward one. Rose up there with Mariapa, massive collision in the six yard box. See that big collision again. Shinny over this free kick in towards Waghorn, who's battling hard. Waghorn gets a shot away, fingertip save from Dan Bentley. And keeps Bristol City in this game. Yeah, it's a good save. I think it had a little bit of a deflection off it as well, didn't it? Again, Dan Bentley showing those reflexes. Makes him certainly one of the top goalkeepers in this league here is Mawson gets a shot away most unlikely of goal scorers that would have been from that angle anyway into the hands of Marshall just Bristol City's fourth shot of the game coming in the uh, 86th minute yeah, you want that to be falling for Christy Martin don't you I guess Shows though chance is still to be had for Bristol City. This game now just petering out. Bounty and Callum will take a look back at the action. And there is the full time whistle from Pride Park. Big cheers coming from the Derby County bench, but Dean Holden watches on in frustration. A difficult afternoon for Bristol City on a difficult pitch.